Interested in placing an order with the Cosmos? Find out how you can do so in this episode of Intuitive Messages. Johnson and welcome to this episode of Intuitive Messages. So in this episode I'm going to be talking about cosmic ordering, the law of attraction. But before, before I start getting into the mechanics of how it truly works, I want to talk about the problems that people experience when they are looking into getting into following this particular routine. A lot of problems that people have is that they get into the manifestation they start their abundance, but then they give up too easily. And the reason why that is, is because you watch a lot of documentaries like The Secret, or you may have a lot of these other authors that write these books and everything and tell you how easy it is to manifest something within a matter of days or weeks, etc. But the whole problem itself is that there are barricades that block the cosmic ordering from taking place. There are belief system structures that still keep themselves in the way so that you are unable to grab that manifestation. It may not come about. And this is why some people may give up on it so quickly. But what I'm going to share in this video, and it's going to be an interactive video, at certain points I'm going to tell you to pause the video and of course make sure that you have a piece of paper and a pen or pencil handy. Because there can be some notes that you can take that can be very helpful here. Of course, it's a video, and of course the magic of video, you can always play it back again. But try and be within this moment right now. So again, the whole idea is that you can get into the state of truly bringing out whatever it is you want to manifest through cosmic ordering, and it can take place. It can be created within your reality. But there is a three-step process, which I have personally used, that has given me a lot of clear abundance that has given me clairvoyance to create what I want to create within my reality. And so all I can say is on my level, from my personal experience, this has worked. So it's totally up to you to decide if you want to follow this. The first step is asking or placing your cosmic order. So if you have a pen and paper handy right now, feel free to pause the video right here. If you don't have one, get yourself a pen and paper and write this down. You are going to ask for whatever it is you want to bring into your reality. You are going to place your cosmic order with the cosmos. You are going to attract what it is you want to bring in. So the first way to do this is to be specific on what you ask for. The reason why it's so important to be specific is that if you are very vague, if you only give out a very broad term of what you want to create through your manifestation, then what's going to happen is that the opportunity itself is going to be too vast for you to truly get exactly what you want within the narrow parameter of the abundance itself. So you're literally going to be sifting through other different types of opportunities that may come your way, but they may not be exactly what you're looking for. One example is, well, I would love to get a new job. Okay, so now you're sifting through all these different types of opportunities that are coming to you. What is it within that particular job that would bring you the most excitement? What would bring you the most joy? So again, when you're placing your order with the cosmos, when you are attracting through the law of attraction, be specific on what you want to create. Okay, I want a job. Well, what job brings you the most excitement? Oh, I would love to be an artist. Or I would love to be a musician. Okay, now you're starting to get going here. So again, the more specific that you are, through the energetic asking, through placing the order of the cosmos, this is what's going to create opportunity for you. But again, that's just the very first step the first process of the three criteria here. 
Now we're going to move on to the second step, which is becoming the vibration of your cosmic order, becoming the vibration of your attraction. Now why is this important? Now again, there may have been some crash courses in the law of attraction or in cosmic ordering to where someone says, okay, just go for this. See it within your mind. Let it be your goal to get to where you want to go with this manifestation and just go there. Now this is where a lot of people aren't able to attempt to create what they want to create through cosmic ordering. Through cosmic ordering, it's about becoming the vibration. It's about taking action and m matching the frequency of what it is you want to create. For one example, you're not going to be able to get onto a particular radio station that's found on 99.5 FM if you're all the way down to 108.3 FM. You need to tune yourself and become the vibration in order you to s for you to synchronize with that particular radio station so you can receive the signal. The same thing happens here. This is what you may find in the secret of when if you wanted to, for example, manifest a car. And you see in the secret of how that person was in the living room driving that car. Well, yes, this is very effective. This can work. But again, the reason why that happens is because by you enacting what it is you want to create, you're creating, you're synchronizing with the vibration of that frequency. And a very big misconception is that, well, you can just use the law of attraction to create your dream house. You can create the law of attraction to create your dream car. You can use the law of attraction to have your big business. Well, yes, you can. But there is so much more to it. This is truly unlimited abundance. This is where you truly have the capability to create whatever it is you wish to create beyond the idea of finances, beyond the idea of materialistic possession. If you want to manifest becoming a better teacher, if you want to manifest becoming a healer, if you want to manifest in being able to have opportunities to share information with people, to go on trips, to travel, this is all just examples of what you can create. And so becoming the vibration, that's step two. So now that you've done step one in deciding what you want to create, what your order wants to be, send it out to the cosmos, take this moment now to imagine how you will become the vibration of the order you want to place to the cosmos. And now we move on to step three which is receiving your manifestation. Now again, after you have placed your order, after you have become the vibration, the third is receiving the manifestation. But what you're actually doing is not just receiving the manifestation, you're receiving the opportunity for the manifestation. So placing the order, becoming the vibration, taking action for the manifestation, now it's the universe's turn to throw you the ball that represents your manifestation. The universe is saying, hey you, catch. So you've caught the ball now. And written on this ball is your opportunity. An opportunity for you to pursue what you want to create. What you want to have manifested. The order is placed and it's coming back. So now through this opportunity, this is where you need to act. This is where you decide, I'm going to run with that ball. I'm going to take this opportunity and I'm going to run with it. Or no, this isn't really the opportunity I want anymore. I have no passion in this anymore. I'm going to drop the ball. When you drop the ball, you start the cycle all over again. Steps one, two, and three. When you decide to run with the ball, then this is where everything starts to unfold. This is where your manifestation starts to happen. So how it's going to start to happen is that you're running with the opportunity and through this opportunity there may still be some roadblocks that may come up. There may still be some obstacles that appear onto the scene. But it's not that you're receiving these forms of difficulty from the universe. 
it's that you are attracting these yourself. Because by attracting these yourself, it's you yourself are telling you that there's still these things that need to be clarified. There's still these things that need to be healed and brought to completion, brought to closure rather, so that you can pursue your opportunity. So for one example, you may have a passion to travel and you may try to get a passport but perhaps there's money situations that may come up in order for you to get your passport or there may be some other form of situation that is keeping your opportunity in a dormant state until you act on it so again this is still bringing the essence of step number two in acting on it so that you can allow yourself to resolve that obstacle whatever that obstacle may be through that example so again, when you receive it, when you have the opportunity, this is the third step that you can write down. When you have this opportunity, when the universe throws you the ball, how are you going to see yourself running with the ball for that opportunity? Do you foresee any obstacles that are going to come up? Do you foresee any issues that may appear? So again, this is something else to take into consideration as well. So go ahead and pause this video right now in all that you have right now, your cosmic order, how you're going to become and take action with it, and how you foresee opportunity arising, and do you foresee any complications. So go ahead and pause the video right now, and feel free to jot those down, if you wish. So now here's some extra tips to help bring your manifestation into its purity. Some people may envision exactly what they want to create. They envision exactly how in their imagination it may come about. And again, that is a good step because then it gives you an outline. But what is suggested here is the more that you unlimit yourself, the more that you do not foresee how all of these particular avenues can manifest, the more that you allow all of these infinite doors to stay open and all not allow only a few certain doors to remain open based on imaginative outline. Again, the imaginative outline is good because then it gives you an idea. But it's important to stay broad, stay open to how this manifestation, to how these opportunities can come your way. Be open, be unlimited. When you allow yourself to do this, you're going to have the opportunity for the opportunity to come about even stronger than you could have possibly imagined. So when you don't limit your ideas to imagination, when you allow yourself to be broader to the greater imagination, you'll have opportunities that will come your way that will be far greater, far more amazing, far more interesting than you could have possibly ever have imagined. So this, in a nutshell, is cosmic ordering. Again, it's all about deciding what works for you. For this particular video, everything that I have included here has personally worked for me. But again, everybody's different. Everybody's unique. Everybody has their own specifications of what they want to do to allow their manifestations to come through. But it's all based on the three sum up. Asking, placing your order, becoming the vibration and taking action upon it. Receiving the opportunity and deciding if you're going to run with it or drop it and then start the cycle all over again. Not being limited to your own imagination allowing the greater imagination to give you the opportunity of manifesting something that can go beyond any form of imaginative scope. And again, eliminating all the barriers that are preventing you from following your manifestation. Because that's the only way that manifestations don't become a part of your reality. You yourself are holding them back. There are obstacles, there are belief systems, that are keeping them back. Resolve those belief systems. Resolve those barriers and become unlimited. Only then will you understand that your manifestations will come to pass, opportunity will be knocking on your door, and you truly have the ability to create whatever it is you wish to create because you are the ultimate determiner of your experience. So thank you very much for watching Intuitive Messages. I'm Brad Johnson, and I will talk to you again soon. All the best to you, and let your own creativity, your own imagination soar and become the vibration you want to bring into your reality. Thank you again. Namaste.